Oh, oh, darling. <laughs> I hated it out there. But now all I need to make me happy is to give that tosser Ben what's coming to him. Looks like you've been beaten to it, Teen. What? Yeah, got nabbed up in Natalie's cell yesterday. He weren't no maintenance worker. Right, Earl Ken, Nebeski and Palmer. You're all in the four-bed dorm. What? Wait, what, what, all of us? No, you can forget that. There is no way I'm sharing with her. Listen up, Nebeski. In here, you don't get a choice. And you won't find a bottle and a basket of fruit waiting for you, neither. Get your beds made up. Move it! Ooh. Who threw that? Threw what, miss? Minibab strikes again. It's auto suggestions, potent stuff. If only we could bottle it. Yes, well, unfortunately, it only works on the superstitious and stupid. And for best effects, both. <laughs> oh, there ain't nothing like your own bed, is there? You're a frigging freak, you are. I mean, you're actually glad to be here, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Of course. That's where my mates are. Sad cow. Shit. How am I gonna last five friggin' years with that? Oh, it's all right. You can buy stuff. Yeah, I can imagine the sort of crap they sell and all. You can borrow some of my things, Janine. I don't mind. Janine, don't borrow it off of you. After what you owe her. Janine's just going to take whatever she wants. Got it? Does that hurt? No. That? Nothing. I will get dressed. Well, what do you think? Well, I can't see anything wrong with you. Certainly nothing that would explain the pains that you say you've been experiencing. Well, that's it then. I have been cursed. I knew it. Like Tull said, it's probably only a matter of time. Oh, rubbish, Sylvia. How can anybody nowadays believe such superstitious nonsense? Unless they're born halfway up the Amazon or they're feeble-minded. Well, it doesn't look like medical science has any explanation. There are a number of possible explanations, physical, psychological, but absolutely not supernatural. In your case, Sylvia, I suggest you lose maybe two stone and see how you feel. I came to see you for advice, not insults, thank you very much. I can see I get more sympathy talking to a doctor with a bone through his nose than one the NHS churned out. Hey, girls, this is Darlene. She used to have a girl in the dorm of us. What do they feed you on? Baby bio? Yeah, well, I know she looks a bit scary, but you're all right, really, ain't you? <laughs> she don't scare me. Well, you must be brave for go around dressed like some kind of pussycat. Well, at least I can talk English. Tina, that bastard Ben wants his nuts cracking for what he did to you and me, mate, honestly. Yeah, we saw how you've been fighting him off. He tried to rape me. Of course he did. Yes, he did. Yeah, and I know what I saw. No, you don't know what you saw. Not if you know what's healthy. Get off me! Leave her alone. So, who are you two, then? Um, this is Aaron and this is Janine. Can't they talk for themselves? Yeah. Janine Nabeski. Who are you? Natalie. Sounds like you've had some grief. And I give out more than I get. Remember that and you'll be all right. You're a pretty thing, aren't you? Be a good girl and you'll stay that way. <laughs> Darling! Yeah. Yeah, see you. What do you want? I just want a quick chat, that's all. About what? I'm thinking of starting up a business. Could be some work in it for you. I have work. Making shrouds for stiffs. Yeah, but that won't pay like this one. <sighs> yeah. You're the boss around here, aren't you? You are a bright spark. So what's going down? Anything I can do to help? Yeah, actually, there is. Piss off. Ten years I'm looking at, thanks to that bitch. You forgot the golden rule, mate. When you got your trousers down, make sure your ass is covered, eh? <laughs> I should never have trusted her. They're all sodding crooks. There was like a shit in box of chocolates in there. Well, I've got to admire your balls, mate. Mm. 
No one questions a bloke with a spanner in his hand, do they? <laughs> it was sweet until Buxton started screaming rape. Women, they're all the same. You reckon? That bitch Betts. She was the worst. What, Karen Betts? The old wing governor? Yeah. Bloody hell, if prep teasing was a sport, she'd be carrying the flag. You didn't have her as well, did you? I was that close. That close? <laughs> I make two, sometimes three deliveries a day. I just change, pick up my box of tools, get a set of keys from the front gate, and I'll be in. And they'll be waiting for me. Legs akimbo. Jesus, sounds like bloody heaven. I'm telling you, I was getting shad dry in there. Nearly even had the wind governor, didn't you, Ben? Ah, uh, she was giving me the come on, all right. I should have just took my chance, I reckon. Just wait until she was in her office one night. You know what? Ripped off that bloody suit. That's the sort of sick bastard that should lock away and forget about. Loved it. She had that proper filthy look, you know, with her eyes. Yeah. They're all filthy in there. Di, it's me. Look, I could understand if you never wanted to speak to me again, but I've got to see you. It's important. I've managed to get us a private visit. Mm -hmm. I think I should go straight for the jugular. <laughs> oh, you enjoyed that just a little bit too much for comfort, Di. No, I don't think I enjoyed myself so much since that American bought our entire Picasso collection. Well, the one you turned out on an etch a sketch you know. <laughs> Now, Mrs. Hollenbe. Mm. Um, let's see how you do the moonwalk. Oh, Mrs. Hollenbe, you seem to be limping. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's a private visit, but any bump and grind in the party's over. You got that? You looking better? Yeah, well, it's getting everything out in the open. Feels like the two of us can start with a clean sheet. I hope so. I've got so much to thank you for, Di. You're my rock, you know that? <laughs> Neil's heading for trouble again. Oh, yeah? You know that maintenance guy, Ben? Turns out he's an imposter. I know. They banged him up in here, on the VP unit with me. It's like a pig in shit, though. I'd heard he was a serial sex offender. Natalie Buxton said he tried to attack her, but I'm not so sure. Oh, she told me he raped her. Bragged about it. I wanted to punch his lights out. Bastard should be banged up in here till he rots. Maybe he will. What if we can make sure of it? So, made up your mind? Are you in? In a law. Well, what don't you know? It's simple, it's tax collection. The women cough up in canteen goodies, shampoo, conditioner, bags, whatever you can get out of them, and then you get a cut. It's me lean on them. It's called incentivising. Be a strong girl, be a piece of piss. Look at it like this. You're either the tax collector, or you're one of the mugs paying tax. You don't understand what's going on here, do you? It's like all change, Darlene. Now Myers is off my back, I run this place. I'm Governor of G-Wing. He told me that Karen had the hots for him, but he never got to shag her. Prick tease, he called her, so he's got plenty of motive for setting her up. I see that. But how do we set him up? Simple. Take this. What 
is it? It's Ben's stuff. 